Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from InMotion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Today I'm going to show you how to restore a Softaculous backup. Alright, start by logging into your cPanel. Okay, once you get in, we're going to go down to the Software and Services section, and we're going to click the Softaculous button here. Once you get into Softaculous, on the top, we're going to go to Backup and Restore. You'll see the button here. Alright, you see here I have one backup available here, and this is a backup I previously made. Uh, if you don't know how to make a backup, a pop-up will come up on the screen and you can click that to watch our other video it's also linked to the full article on how to create the backup uh, in my case there's a backup already here and I can actually uh, download this backup or I can restore it by clicking on this arrow if you have a backup that you downloaded and you don't see it listed here you can actually upload it and I'm going to show you where to upload it so from here in Softaculous I'm going to go back to the cPanel home I'm going to go to the file manager, the home directory, this is already selected, and then if you look on the left here, there's a Softaculous Backups folder. I'm going to click that, and you'll see that's the one that's, that we saw in my, CPAN, in my Softaculous already. Sorry. And um, I'm going to upload now, so I'm going to click upload, and I'm going to upload another backup I made of Softaculous. This is another one I made yesterday here. Okay, so I'm gonna open that one. You'll see here on the bottom right, it says complete. I'm gonna click go back. And you'll see there's two there now. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna close this tab, which will take me back to my cPanel. And then I'm gonna scroll down again to the software and services section, click the Softaculous button, and then click the backup and restore again. Notice now, I have two backups available for that website. So you see the new one that I up just uploaded, which is this one, is also available. So if you want to upload a backup that you have from Softaculous, you would just upload it to that folder that I just showed you. And in this case, I'm going to restore, I'm going to use this restoration here on the bottom. And you're going to do that by clicking the restore button here beside it. It's going to ask you if you want to restore the directory or the database. You can uncheck one or the other, just like when you made the backup. In this case, I'm going to restore both. And then you click the Restore Installation button. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to restore the installation because it will revert your website to the backup that you're restoring. And then just give it a little bit of time. Of course, the amount of time that this takes will be based on the size of your website. So, of course, larger websites take a little bit longer. Once it's finished, you'll see this message, your backup has been restored successfully. And you can go ahead and click Return to Overview. And at this point, your website will have been reverted to the backup that you restored. Thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.